Good afternoon, Internet. And here we are for another fabulous video from an American living in Asia. And as you can see, I'm not outside. It's fairly quiet in here, but I am in a nice, comfortable room with air conditioning. So I'm not sweating my head off like I normally am. Anyhow, the reason we're making this video inside today is so that I can tell you about my travel plans over the next uh, month or so. Today is uh, March 30th, it's a Saturday afternoon, and on Wednesday I'm going to be flying to northern Thailand, which uh, in a, to a city called Chiang Mai. Um, the reason I'm going up there is I think that's eventually where I'm going to be working from, so I want to take a few weeks to actually go up there and, and see what it's like. I uh, hear there's a lot of people that work online up there. They call themselves digital nomads, and I may be joining their ranks. Uh, but I want to go up there and see what it's like before I actually make the move. The one thing I hear about Chiang Mai that uh, makes it kind of attractive is that it's cooler, or at least I hear that it's cooler, than uh, Kuala Lumpur or Bangkok. Bangkok is just a big, sprawling city, and at some point, I'm probably going to be there and we'll make a video or two about Bangkok. There's a lot of things to see and do in Bangkok, but um, you really have to like living in a big, big city if you want to live in Bangkok. Chiang Mai here is much better, so that's, I'm going to go up there and, and check it out. It's not as crowded. It's not as populated. It doesn't have all the amenities that you find in Bangkok as far as public transport is concerned, but everything else I need uh, should be there. So on that side, leave for that, uh, leave for Chiang Mai on Wednesday. And then on April 18th or 19th, I fly back to Kuala Lumpur because I have to pick up my Malaysian driving license on April 20th. Um, you might be thinking, Bill, what happened to your U.S. driving license? Well, it expired. And when your license expires, a whole process of misery comes into play. And if you ever let your driving license expire in a foreign country, you may find out what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, you're 16 years old again, and you have to go to driving school, and you have to take driving tests, and you have to sit in class and use computers and go out with your instructor, all of that stuff. I did that two years ago, and I have a what they call is a learning license. It's a, it's a driving license with a big red P on it. Palajar means student or learning. And that's been my license for the last two years. So on April 20th this year, my two year of, I guess it's like a probation, is up. And I get to get a, a real driving license, which I think is good for five years. But I'm not really sure about that. Anyway, I'll make a video about that process and I'll talk a little bit more detail about what was involved in that. An update on my business, things are going well, but they're going much slower than I originally expected. Some of the things that I thought were hard were actually easy. The creating the tool, which I thought was the hardest part, but I was wrong. Creating the tool was the easy part. Making contacts is the hard part. I am finding it very difficult, especially outside Malaysia, not in Malaysia, but outside Malaysia, some of the contacts for the sport association uh, are not in one convenient place um, like you would expect them to be. So you have to sort of think of what sport associations another country has and then try to contact them or look up their information for contacting them on the internet somehow. Anyway, it's a long process and it takes, it takes much longer than I thought. The meetings I've had so far have been very good, so I'm, I'm encouraged by that. But the, the whole idea of getting Sport Kid metrics off the ground is taking longer than uh, expected. But it's going well. It's just going slow. I'd like to give a big shout out to three of my friends over in Bandar Sri Damansara at the Subway Sandwich Shop. Miss Fiza, Miss Fika, and Mr. Epi uh, were uh, worked there. And every morning when I used to live in that area, I would stop by, get my sandwich, and have a chat with them. I really miss having those chats. So I was over there this morning, so it was nice to see them this morning. 
Um, hopefully I'll be back there soon. But anyway, keep up the good work, guys. Anyway, that's about it for Kuala Lumpur. By the time you see this video, I'll be in Chiang Mai, and the one after this will probably be from Chiang Mai. I do have some people finally, finally in Kuala Lumpur who want to collaborate with me on a video. In other words, they want to be in one of my videos. Now, that's nice. I like that idea of being in the video because you have no idea what it's like to sit here and just talk to a camera. It's, uh, there's nobody else here and it's not as easy as it looks. The, you, I really envy the people that make videos for places like YouTube, I mean, where most of these end up. Those people that make it look easy have a real skill. I don't think I have that skill yet, but I'm working on it. It's very um, hard to make a video by yourself. And I wanna make, I, well, I'm looking forward to being able to make videos with other people that I know here that are interested in doing it. Anyway, that's it from KL. If you like these videos, please subscribe, but thanks for watching. Bye-bye.